There's one that always flies under my radar. This was definitely it. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for The Menu. This was a thriller film that came out towards the end of 2022 as Ralph finds Anya Taylor-Joy, John Leguizamo in it. I really wish I had seen this in theaters. I had a chance to, but it didn't work out and I wasn't able to see it before the end of the year. Lo and behold, of course, the day I think about seeing it, I see it's on Disney+. Plus. Guys, this would have been in my top seven. This would have pushed out Barbarian for sure. This was such an enjoyably fun movie because not only are you constantly kind of questioning what's gonna happen next with how the film's gonna progress. I actually love the writing in this film. Every single person in this film is a asshole. The film follows a bunch of these foodies and these connoisseurs who get on this boat, who get taken into this private island that hosts that that is hosted by this master chef played by Ralph Fiennes, who has a bunch of chefs who live on the island and they all are masters of the craft and this is a, a meal that is literally to die for and amongst these people are celebrities who are kind of washouts uh, big food connoisseurs but also kind of pricks about it crypto bro people and previous people who actually have a lot of shady past to themselves like no one in the room is a clear-cut person except for Anya Taylor-Joy who was kind of a last-minute addition due to the date that she was taken on by Nicholas Holt her slight surprise to this day kind of throws things into a little bit of a perspective while this appears to be a very fancy very up your own ass kind of dinner it is far from what it appears to be and as the night divulges into madness it is very fun to watch. Some people could maybe kind of make a comparison about like Ready or Not or another one being Your Next. And there could be some comparisons drawn to those films, but I do feel that the menu actually does have a bit of originality to it in terms of the very, very obvious critique on the food community. Not only the people who make it, but very much the people who write about it and the people who talk about it. Every single person in this film is an asshole. And to a different degree, it depends on what you find to be an asshole. A person who thinks they know how to do their job. A person who literally has the ability to make and break places because they're not up to their standards are people who are completely full of their own garbage but eventually have to finally realize that they are not who they appear to be whereas Anya Taylor-Joy is just kind of this person who does have some falsehoods about her but she is not in the same realm as others in the film. I do like the actual personal touch to this the very much wackadoo kind of idea to it that starts to build as the film goes on towards this crescendo if there was any kind of complaint i would maybe have is just the leniency that happens i do like how it occurs i like how it works it's a little bit hard to stomach at the end which i know it's funny to say that when it's a movie about food but there are there's just particularly something that happens in the climax that it's just like really really that you know everyone's okay with this everyone's good down with this otherwise i thoroughly enjoyed it i enjoy the humor i enjoy the commentary i enjoy the acting i enjoy the writing aside from the ending just a part that's towards it and maybe a little bit of the middle you are constantly at a concern of what's going to happen to everyone there are a few bits that I was able to call but even then I only was able to figure like kind of see what was going to happen maybe like 30 to a, 30 seconds to a minute before it actually happened and that was rare because again this film had me on the edge and I feel that this film definitely had me going had me going for my money a lot more than other films this year it certainly was a thriller maybe a little bit of a horror idea that I kind of would have liked to see more of something of this caliber would not work as well maybe a second time it's a very finite kind of idea very much like food and it has to have been made and prepared in a certain way to make it to make all the aspects work and i feel that there are so many parts in this film that could have gone wrong not just in terms of the casting, not just in terms of the directing, but also the writing. Very, very much so the writing, but everything does work 
to a degree that makes it quite enjoyable. It's not a superb, super, I'm going to talk about this movie all the time kind of movie, but it's something that should have been a dinner conversation kind of film or a water boiler film because it does have some interesting elements to it. I do kind of wonder if this has any kind of resemblance to the Severance show that's been getting a lot of popularity. I, I still have to watch that, but I don't know. I might be totally out to lunch on that comparison. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But in the end, my review for the menu is it's a five out of seven. It's a very solid five out of seven. I would highly recommend it. It's very enjoyable. It's very fun. They're going to be taken a bit for a loop in terms of how the film progresses. And once stuff starts going, you're going to be on the edge of your seat for it. And you're going to be laughing. At least I was laughing. I don't know if that makes me weird. Did you guys see the menu? What did you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're just more, subscribe. Until then, see you guys next time.